This is what had become of Lucas Mushiningi. His once clear voice is gone. A shove on the side of his ribs in 2007, when he just returned from work one afternoon, became a nightmare. Then prison warden officer collapsed and suffered a stroke. Upon hospitalization, the family was informed that the cause was high blood pressure, which they did not know. A resident of Oshitenda informal settlement in Venduk, Mashiningi, was willing to share with us his experience, but he just couldn't speak. At the beginning, we could actually talk, but as time passed, you hardly hear what he says. Sometimes he can't even open his mouth, but when he does, I learned his new way of communicating. He was only 49 years old when he suffered a stroke and lost his job. Now at 57 and ill health, he had already forgotten about returning to work. When he was waking, it was good, because we could support all our five children and grandchildren. But now we survive on what he gets from the government and my hawking business. The stroke has made the ex-freedom fighter wheelchair pound. Mushiningi is but one person in the thousands diagnosed with high blood pressure and subsequent strokes plaguing many families and households.